more ancient history jewelry stories. There are a few things in this world that I love as much as beautiful jewelry, but coffee is one of them. I'm devoted to my espresso, and the first thing I do when I wake up every morning is make myself a latte. It's not a surprise. I do come from coffee-loving people. Turks love their coffee. And they really took this to extremes during the Ottoman era. While these are not technically jewelry, they are spectacular bejeweled objects. These are what's known as a zarf, and they are not cups themselves, but rather cup holders. In fact, the modern paper sleeve that we put outside of our coffee cup is still known by the name of zarf. These would have held small porcelain coffee cups, which did not have a handle. These would have gotten very hot to the touch, so the zarf, while being beautiful, also kept you from burning your hands. I have three amazing examples here. All three of these are made from gold and inlaid with rubies, emeralds, and diamonds. One of these was most likely made in Turkey, while two of them were made in Switzerland for the Ottoman court. This style of metalwork, richly encrusted with gemstones, was very popular in late Ottoman era Turkey. You would often see diamonds set into silver in this way, while colored jewels were more often set into gold. The emeralds making up the green zarf are most likely Colombian. There are other examples of Colombian emeralds within the Ottoman royal jewels. These three items represent the wealth and splendor of the Ottoman court during this time period. Coffee was a prevalent and important part of Turkish social life, but it was also just coffee. So to make such incredible vessels to hold the coffee cups really speaks to the power of the sultans of the Ottoman era and the desire to surround oneself with as much beauty as possible. 